today, and we are going to be watching, let's see, Noni against Handy. And these guys are both very good players, big contenders for the spots in Korea, you know. We don't know how many people are going to be chosen. We don't know if it's going to be the winner, the you know, someone who got in the round of 16 or what. But, I mean, these guys are making good names for themselves during this tournament. We saw both of them beat pro gamers so far. Handy beat a pro gamer, TVP. Noni beat a pro gamer, PVT. So, you know, they both definitely know how to play this matchup. We're going to have to see, you know, who is the bigger master of it. And uh, the map, it is going to be Andromeda for map one. The loser is going to choose from Othello and Blue Storm. No repeat maps, of course. It is a best of three. And it is a single elimination tournament. So, I mean, if you lose, you are out in the round of eight. If you win, you go on to the top four. And in my opinion, you know, if you get into the top four, your chances, of course, are going to be a lot higher at being a player that gets chosen to go to Korea. So, a very important match. Two very accomplished players going at it. And it should be really a lot of fun. You know, one thing to point out is that Horror, actually, he played Z-Pucks last round in uh, Terran vs. Protoss. He won Othello and Blue Storm, but he lost on Andromeda. You know, this is a very macro-oriented map for Terran vs. Protoss. You really have to be on top of your mechanical play. And that just is not is not a handy style. You know, he's more of a tricky player. His, his macro is off a little bit, but... You know, that's just, that is the way he plays. So those other maps, you know, with more terrain that helps Terran, you know, all those twisty paths, all the ledges and everything in the middle of the map, really work in Handy's favor. So, you know, I'm going to have to say he's going to have a better time on those other maps. And this right here, you know, getting the hard map out of the way first, Andromeda. And we see very normal builds so far by both. Noni going for the quick uh, Dragoon and very quick factory for Handy here. You know, very standard. There's really, you know, there's some builds actually you can do on this map. You know, as Terran, you could actually go 14cc here. You know, you put a depot right here. You go make your command center right here. Then you're going to make your racks. And you can actually make a bunker to hold off any goon rushes, any whatever. And that can actually be a decent strategy here unless Protoss makes zealots before it goons. So, you know, it's, it's a little bit risky, but it is something that can be done. And we see that uh, Handy, as always, pulling two SCVs off gas. We don't know what that means, whether it's going to be a quick expand or it's going to be, you know, some sort of, you know, kill the probe, get the probe out of my base, add a factory, add a starport, whatever. And Noni, in the meantime, he is playing a very safe game. You know, a lot of Protosses like to go for the quick Nexus, you know, Nexus on 12, something like that. But, you know, I was talking to him before the match about how he was going to play it, and he wanted to play... A very safe game against Handy. He feels, you know, after watching some of Handy's play, that he can definitely out macro him in a longer game. So opening with a safer build and trying to make it into that later game, whereas Handy is a better, you know, not so much a master, but you know, uh, much more comfortable in the early game with his rushes and whatnot. You know, it's a, it's a good choice by Noni. So we're gonna have to see if that pays off for him here. He's already getting the range and the goons. And, you know, I'm wondering, is he going to go one gate expand or, you know, maybe a couple gates, maybe a robo? And it looks to me like he's going to uh, just... Oh, it's actually going to be a robo. I was going to say that he was going to go for an expand, sent the probe a little early. But he is going to get that very quick robo. I'm going to suspect he's going to open with observers, you know, play a very, very safe game. Let's see what Handy's doing over here. It looks like Handy is opening with, you know, this is basically the build on this map. You get, go for a tank, and you go right up for a command center. And we see the eBay being made as well, so he's just going to do a very safe, fast expand, probably into a quick third. You know, that's very popular on this map as Terran. You know, you take that expand. You might pressure if uh, Protoss, you know, gets too aggressive on their expanding and their teching. You might pressure with some tanks, with some marines, a couple vultures rallied after your expand. And behind that you would take another expand so you know either we'll see some pressure or not but i'm i'm definitely suspecting we're going to see three base from handy coming up here and noni just with the goons up at handy's base trying to figure out what's going on and you know i think he knows pretty much he sees a tank on the ramp he sees the scv come down when the scv comes down that normally you know that's just a blocker to take hits from the dragoons keep them from killing the siege tank so that's going to tell him you know there's probably not a lot of marines not a second factory back there and Noni's going to probably know that pretty quickly as well. Let's see, he is getting the Observer right now. 
and his Nexus has started making. It's going to be a lot slower than Handy's expansion, but, uh, you know, he, he should feel pretty decent about where he is right now. There is no rush coming from Handy. And, you know, that means that there's going to be a much longer game. He's not, you know, he's not going to die right now. So uh, his theory of, you know, making it into the later game against Handy is pretty much working so far. So we'll have to see if he was right about that. And Handy just going for that turret. And the second factory now, this is a very nice build by Handy. He's playing very safe. You know, this is going to, this is a pretty good timing turret. You got a quick eBay there. He's uh, really not in any danger to die from anything at this point. You know, it's a nice little block by the eBay. He's just getting that second factory up. And he's going to want to scout pretty quickly here. We see that the barracks has made its way all the way over here. Look at that. That is a long flight path. But it's really smart for a, a Terran player to do something like that. We, we see Handy once again, you know, he doesn't rely on his mechanics. He relies on his brain. And that is what this barracks has done. You know, he can now watch this expansion. And even if he wants, he can float it right down and see if this one is mining as well. So, you know, that's just a personal preference. Which does he want to scout? How much information does he actually want? You know, if you move it down further, it's more likely you're going to lose it. If you leave it here, you know, it scouts less, but you keep it longer. So we see he might be going down to scout to see if Noni has taken a third base. But, in fact, Noni has not, as we can see. And he is just making units. Oh, and going Reaver with speed right now. I like that build. That is a very smart build by Noni. You know, he's going to be able to get very safe expansions on the islands. And really, as Terran, when they take that island expansion, they throw up a couple of cannons, and they have speed shuttles, you're just going to ignore it. You're going to say, all right, you know, I lose the war on this expansion. That is yours for the game. And, you know, that's just a great feeling as Protoss to keep it like that. We see Noni going for that quick expand, and also going to drop that probe off at the island. I'm sure he's not going to take it quite yet, but he does, is going to have a probe there, just in case, you know, bad things could happen in the shuttle. Better to drop that probe off while you're waiting for the Reaver than to perhaps lose the shuttle and, you know, not really have time in the later game when a lot more is going on to drop a probe off there. So, smart move there by Noni. We see Handy has moved the barracks way down. I don't think he's seen yet if this is mining, but, uh, you know, he's still, this is a good position for it still. He can see if this is going to be mining. He can see anything flying directly out of the base. So, you know, it's a good use of that building that he would not be using anywhere else right now. And he is taking that third base. And look at this. This is just a very safe build by Handy. I'm, I'm quite impressed. He's spreading out his depots. This is anti-reaver placement. I mean, if you have them all hooked up together, let's say you have a block of four depots here. And uh, the scarabs can be shot right into the middle, kill all four depots because of splash damage at once. And that when that happens, that just cripples the Terran to lose a bunch of depots early. So someone came up with the idea of spreading them out like this. And it's kind of a cute little grid matrix. And it really works out well, you know, they don't even bother to try to get rid of uh, the depots that way. And here comes that speed shuttle flying right past the turret. He doesn't care about turrets. Wow. Going right in. The armory being made right now. And the SUV is running away very quickly. No kills yet for that. Nice dud scarab. And going after that turret. Will he get it? Yes, he will. But some damage done to the Reaver there. Handy tries to repair it like Sea Shield. Doesn't quite work. Nice drop here by Noni. Oh, that is really poorly placed tanks right there. And that has got to hurt as handy to lose. What is this? Three tanks going down right now. Three tanks of turret lost mining time. This is very nice play by Noni so far here. And he slows down the armory as well and just does a lot of damage and gets out of there with the Reaver and the shuttle. So that was a very nice harass there by Noni. Very good play by him. And we see that horror now. He is a little bit behind here. He is going to start mining from both these bases at once, once again. And Noni taking his fourth base already, almost done in fact. You know, he used that Reaver harass, it slowed Horror way down, killing three tanks, slowing down the mining time, you know, all that good stuff. He's gonna, his factory's gonna be slower, everything's gonna be a little bit slower now because of that Reaver drop. And that has allowed him to make this quick fourth expansion. And Noni is just looking to be in excellent position here. I mean, he is, he looks so safe to me. He's just adding these gateways, finally starting Zealot production, getting those legs about half done. And we're just going to see him sit here in macro for a bit. I mean, he's going to have four base. The horror, I mean, Handy, rather, does have the three bases, but, you know, it's his economy is slower. It is behind a little bit. His factories, he just doesn't have many factories right now. And we see that he's getting mines in speed right now. Now, that's kind of interesting. I'm, I'm curious to see exactly what he's going to do with that. You know, this right now, the way Noni is playing this, 
that just he's not going to care at all about speed vultures right now with mines. I mean, he's not expanding anywhere on the map. He's staying very turtled in this one location to just macro up. You know, he's playing this very safe game, macroing it up, and you know, this just spending those extra 200 minerals and 200 gas on the vulture upgrades and also making these vultures that you don't really need right now unless you think Noni's going to try to run into you to kill you. You know, that could have been used for quicker factories for Handy. But, uh, you know, we'll have to see. I guess he is planning something. And it looks like uh, Noni's going to go for another attack, but two turrets waiting for him here. Really nice there to have two turrets. And one of the shuttles goes down before dropping two of the zealots in it. And just the Reaver and four Zealots get out. But it looks like they will do some damage anyway. Still a shuttle alive with plenty of health. Oh my god! And he almost loses it to that turret. He thinks it's going to die, but no. Handy repaired it very quickly. And another turret going up in the main base here. And the Reaver, how many more kills can this Reaver get this game? So hurt. And there we go. Finally Handy deals with these Reavers. He spent a lot of money on turrets this game. You know, he's been really harassed, really annoyed by the Reavers. I mean, nothing game-ending. But every little edge that Noni is building up is just helping him out immensely. Finally, Noni moving out into the map. And it's going to be hard for Handy to do anything now. Look at this. His army is only 104 supply and Noni up at 142. So, I mean, if Handy comes out at this point, he is just going to get absolutely crushed. You know, when you take that three base, you have to be very good on your attack times. You know, you probably want to wait for 1-1 one, one and move out with, you know, over 160 supply. You do not want to be moving out too quickly because, you know, with this amount of units can be killed very easily by a Protoss. But, I mean, if you get, a, you know, another group of vultures, another few tanks, then suddenly, you know, it's like exponentially stronger. But we see he is moving out. Noni getting into position for a nice big broad attack, perhaps. Just Zealot Dragoon, no size storms yet. And it looks like Handy is just spreading out his units very smartly, I might add. And he's probably going to want to push down and take a fourth base here. That's, you know, he, I think he's smart enough that he knows he can't quite attack yet. So he's just kind of pushing down, trying to secure this fourth base. Because he is going to need a fourth base. He's going to need that gas. He needs upgrades going. You see he has one armory right now. Finally getting uh, the range for Goliaths. But I don't see a starport quite yet. Uh, it's a little bit perplexing, you know, he's going to need that starport, he needs upgrades very badly, especially on Andromeda, I mean, you are not going to just end the game on Andromeda, it's, the pro is going to fight you all game, and here we go, Noni running into Handy here, and the Zealot Bomb's going off, very nice Zealot Bombs right there, not killing a lot of tanks, but really drawing a lot of fire from them, as the goons can go up and clear out all of these mines, and really help against the Vultures. And it looks like this is a very close battle. Handy has a lot of tanks back there. Finally cleaning up all the Zealots. And Noni smartly withdraws most of his Dragoon force here before it gets absolutely splattered by these siege tanks. C plus one siege tanks are just so good. So, so good. But Noni, he has good upgrades right now. His macro is really going. There's a lot of gateways. Look at this. Five right there. Four right there. So he is nine gating it. And... Oh, he is more than 9 gating it. He is going 12, 13 gate or so. And his macro is just, he has got to keep macroing here. Handy is getting really aggressive. And if Noni can get a lot of speed zelts out right now, he may be able to bust this up. And these two shells are definitely going to help. We see no Goliaths with Handy's army right now. And he might be overextending here. I think Handy might have gotten ahead of himself. This is very dangerous. If he loses all these tanks, Noni is just going to be in such an excellent position. Here we go. We have only three Zealots in the shuttles, but that is going to be enough, I think. He is really harassing and annoying these poor siege tanks, and his goons just coming in to clean up. But nice reinforcements by Handy here. I'm very surprised. He just gets those vultures right up there, clears that out, but only one siege tank left. That is really painful. Noni can just make a lot of Dragoons right now and clean out this little attack. But two more Siege Tanks coming down. Handy is going to want a third add-on. He has four add-ons, though. Very good play by Handy there. A lot of people make that mistake. Stay on two add-ons too long. But he has made those extra add-ons. And it is paying off. He's got to get some more Siege Tanks down there. This is a very nice contain. Handy is looking very powerful right now. I am quite impressed by in this game. I mean, you can see he is on top of his spending. In those previous games, he had like 6k and 150 supply, but he is keeping it way down, even with this very quick third base, which is very hard to macro on this map as Terran. I can vouch for that. And look at this. This is a nice little contain that he is setting up. And I don't know what Noni is going to do specifically against this. I think he's just going to max up and try to bust out. There's still not many tanks there, only five. 
And here we go. That's exactly what he's doing. He got a lot of units, and he's just trying to bust out now. Even probes coming in. No chance for the Terran with these probes. And it looks like a lot of Dragoons are going to be able to clean this up. Those Zealots just taking a perfect amount of hits from the Siege Tanks. That is one mistake that Handy is making. You've got to target your Siege Tanks during battles like this. Target the Dragoons. Let your Vultures hit the, uh, the Zealots. You cannot let your Siege Tanks be firing at Zealots. It is just It hurts your own army. The Zealots take so many hits from the Siege Tanks, being a small unit, against the explosive damage. So, you know, you've got to target that. That is one thing that Nada always does. You'll see him win battles that you would never think he should win. It is because he's targeting his siege takes. And excuse me, I got a little cold today. But uh, we see that Noni with just a ton of units now, 156 supply, and poor Handy has dropped below 100. He does not have his fourth up and running yet. He's just got it. Not any SCVs there. Trying to defend it frantically with almost pure spider mine. Doesn't work out too well against Dragoons with uh, Observers. But we'll have to see if he can hold it together a little bit here while he makes his factories. I mean, makes his siege tanks, rather. But he is going to need a lot more than these siege tanks. He's only got about four... Oh, seven right now, actually. Those four add-ons are really paying off for him. Being able to refill those very quickly. But he is overextending once again. He should really be lifting this off, running it away. He should have known that there was no way he's going to hold against Noni's huge army right now. And tried to save that and just re-push back out once he gets the siege tanks. But Noni is just looking too strong here. He is he has got a very good thing going on. I mean, Handy is trying to sneak this top right, but Noni can gain map control pretty quickly. We see Handy, I mean he's set up he's set up pretty decently right here. But he does. he's kind of cut off. You know, he can't go to the bottom left of the map. He can't defend that top right. And Noni just attacking right back in. He wants blood. He wants to end this game. Just a ton of units for Noni. He is staying right up near Max this whole game. And he is just plowing through. God, so many speed zealots. As if that's fair. These poor siege tanks just being mauled by the zealots. And it looks like Handy is going to be losing this first game. But I gotta tell you, I am impressed by his play. I mean, I didn't know with his uh, with his poor macro in the Z Pucks match that he could really macro like this. And he, you know, he did a good job of getting up to the natural of Noni, setting up a contain. But Noni just busted out perfect timing on that. So nice play by Noni. He takes the lead 1-0 against Handy in the round of eight. GG.